This is the much. fucking Matrix. Like yeah, it, it, it they, almost they, yeah, is a carbon totally copy would. of the Matrix they almost. Totally would. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, as an editor, I hate it. It's a shitty trailer. Time to wake up. Oh, did you see the Assassin's Creed trailer? I did see the Assassin's Creed trailer, and I was gonna make a video about it, but all I'm gonna yeah, do is yeah, I'm gonna cut this too, out and make but it then my video. I was just like, no. Nah. Yeah, but okay. Now, that Assassin's Creed trailer, I will say, as much as I shit on Assassin's Creed, I continue to shit on Assassin's Creed, and that's why I wasn't excited for this movie, because I'm like, well, fuck Assassin's Creed. That trailer was dope. Like, it, I'm yeah, like, it was a good know, trailer everybody... as a fan of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that's true. I, I, don't, I don't know how it would seem to a non fan, because I'm, I'm not a non fan. Yeah, well, I mean, as a, as a non fan. I, I, I am, you really wouldn't I, I, know I, what the I, fuck I, is I'm going on. I'm a fan of the lore, whatever. Um, there's a few things. Well, first of all, um, like people were complaining about the music. Like they didn't like Kanye West music. Again. Um, I, I, I mean, that's the editor's fault, though. That's the uh, yeah, I, that's that's, that's another the, thing well, I wanted to explain. Yeah, I have three points the on make this. The trailers. The people that make the trailers don't make the yeah they um, movies, they're so. they're not usually fans of whatever yeah, they put so together and stuff like that. The so they they really could have just came to me and hired me to do the trailer and it would have been dope as fuck. Yeah, so exactly. First of all, Ubisoft, get your shit together. Come come on back. Come on guys. Let's 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 rethink this whole trailer <laughs> thing. We can this, we can this, make it better. This movie low key makes me want to go back and play like the Assassin's Creed. Series. Yeah, it like, does. Only Assassin's Creed bit. one, two, and and uh, Brotherhood <laughs> though. I don't want to go any also, further. Also, what's weird is the animus doesn't look like a chair that they sit in or like a thing they land. Well, yeah, they didn't. Want, want to make the animus all boring and shit they didn't want to copy the matrix essentially which the is animus, what it is oh, that's, yeah that, that's that's probably is why yeah because i'm like the animus isn't boring what are you talking about but yeah th th that is true it would feel like a ripoff of the matrix yeah. like, for the gamers you would understand but for the movie goer who doesn't watch they'll the be matrix, like this is the fucking watch. matrix like it, yeah, it, it they, almost yeah, is a carbon totally copy would. of the matrix they almost totally would. <laughs> so <laughs> you know but I, I, there, are, there are three aspects to this movie, to this trailer so far, and it's just the first trailer, so I'm not gonna give it too much shit. Yeah. As an editor, I hate it. It's a shitty trailer. It's just terrible. <laughs> but as a fan of Assassin's Creed, it's fucking dope. Like it's really good. I, I was surprised they got a lot of the cues correct. And once again, I trust Michael Fassbender because he is an avid player of the Assassin's Creed games. So yeah. you know that's like Ryan Reynolds playing, playing and uh, producing the Deadpool movie. It's like you get a fan to make a fan based movie. That's it. That's that's the answer to everything. You don't get these random ass people to make a Dragon Ball movie and they've never watched a single episode of Dragon Ball. Like yeah. it just doesn't work, and Fucking that's what that I try Avatar to tell a lot of people. Mispronouncing the main characters' names and shit. Yeah, and that's what, and that's what that's what I try to tell uh, a lot of the a lot of the people that yeah. I talk to who are fans of this stuff, and they're like, "Oh, this is gonna suck." And I was like, "Well, why don't you get into the film industry and make the necessary moves to fuck?" Exactly. But nerds don't want to fucking do that. They want to sit behind <laughs> their fucking Yeti and snowball microphones and complain Random. about how the people who have the power to make these movies. It's it's just like it, it's like people complaining about CC two doing all the dumb shit they're doing i'm like no take that shit to namco what the fuck is wrong with you guys you fucking idiots yeah, they don't even know what the fuck they're doing yeah they don't even know yeah. what the fuck they're talking okay, about it's like a, oh my god minor... you guys are fucking stupid okay with the assassins with the assassin's creed Hero, this is a minor gripe with me like just because i thought it was the most badass part of the trailer i replayed it and like that's one of the main issues is that especially me being someone who edits shit myself i start to notice flaws more easily and <laughs> so you know that scene where that female assassin she double assassinates those two guards and it's and they super over. fucking slow and she like slows down time or some shit yeah no, 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 no. That wasn't that wasn't the problem. Like that was just kind of the the uh, the effects of the editing, whatever. But no, the the more I watched that, like th it looks, it doesn't even look like she stabs them. Like no, the it it, it literally kind of just, looks like, slide it, off the blade. Exactly. Yeah, it looks so choreographed. So, but then again, it's like it's like a. Uh, did you see X Men Origins Wolverine? Yeah. Okay, so that also had really bad trailers that they fixed before the final movie came out. So yeah, I'm like, thinking, it looked like the guys, like the guys she stabbed, it looked like they died and fell over before she even touched them. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it just looked so weird. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, that was dope. And I was like, oh, that's so dope. I gotta watch it like six more times. And like by the sixth time, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> like the blades don't even look like they touch their bodies. It's like they like, you know that people do that thing where like they stab through their fucking arm and it like looks like they get stabbed. That's what that shit looked like. Like it didn't look like the blade stabbed them. Look like she kind of just stuck her hand out, and they fucking CG the blades on afterwards and shit. Hang on, there but, was uh, there was something that that was also a very pressing issue to me, and uh, I'm trying to. I'm the trying leap to of look faith, the right leap of now. faith looked badass too, but at the same time, and this is my issue I've always had with the leap of faith. 
Like, this nigga's about to land in a bale of hay, and the people are gonna be like, really, nigga? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, in the video games, I guess it's okay because it's a game, but if someone saw that shit in a movie, they're like, get the fuck out of Especially here. Especially from that height. That shit doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I'm hoping that he gets like a grappling hook and he swings off of a building or some shit or something. I don't know, because this nigga fucking jumped off the Umpire State Building. Like, that, I mean, he looked badass, but like, how he lands will make no fucking sense. Maybe there's so, water below. No. I don't know. He'll still how die on impact if yeah, it, water. Yeah, he better. Yeah, that, exactly. So yeah, that better be the end of the movie, and do. he's killing himself or something. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what they're going to do, but like, I feel like it's just going to be them landing in a bell of hay, and that's just going to make no sense. See, now there but was I, another thing I was kind of questioning, and this is because I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. Um, I'm very concerned with the continuity of it because it takes place during the Spanish Inquisition, which is mm. hold on, let me look at the dates. The Spanish. I'm not assuming it's connected to the game. Sure. Really yeah, yeah, no, no. Universe. I'm I'm assuming or... it's a little connected to the games, only based off of the different subjects that we don't know shit yeah, about. I, I'm in, just, in I'm just assuming that it's like the same concept, but this is a completely different universe. Like, well, no, not like, that it's like, it's a like different the, universe. Like I feel like kind of like, like the kind of like the Flash in the movies and the Flash in the TV show. I kind of see it like that. Um, maybe, but I, I can't look at it that way only because there's so Desmond much about Assassin's Creed universe. that we don't. I don't think Altair exists in this universe. I don't well, think, uh, no, uh, it's it's shit. not that not that. I'm talking about like specific things. Like obviously, the 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 double blades was not invented until Da Vinci uh invented them. Oh, okay, you know, I see and uh, Da Vinci's time era was not. I don't think it was like 1480. Hold on, let me look. Yeah, I, I think I don't think they're scra I, I think they're scrapping all that. Like, like once again, like I said, they're taking certain elements, but it's not the same. It's not the same way. Like it's not like Da Vinci created the. the hidden blades and stuff yeah because like, that was that was that was a hundred yeah. years later that, that he existed this that's is taking place during the 1480s with the leap of faith not being in the movie just because it wouldn't have made any sense for it to be in the movie and you know it's just like i but understand that it wouldn't my, my, here's but, here's but, my I mean, thing though and how that, how i, I mean. think it connects to the games and stuff like that is because you know there are 17 subject like 17 assassin subjects and shit like that so you know uh michael fassbender's character could be one of those other subjects that we don't know anything about because, you know, Maybe. Assassin's Creed, before it went to shit, never really explained a lot of that conspiracy theory shit, you know? So, there there are missing pieces that could fit into the story timeline, and there's stuff that couldn't. So, I'm not going to sit here and, and kind of And you know the last thing about, about that trailer that, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I can't be mad, but I would have totally jizzed myself if this was in the trailer, that it wasn't in the trailer. And there was something similar to it in the trailer, which makes me even more mad. And I, I want to know if you know what it is. Okay, so, I'll give you a hint. In the last part of the trailer, he says... We uh, serve in the dark. We we serve in the dark to serve the light or some shit. We work in the dark to serve the light and shit. Yeah, you know that's I'm not. I, I thought that was gonna be everything is true, nothing is permitted. Yeah, exactly. That's what they should have said. He should have said nothing is true, everything is permitted. Oh, I gotta see this movie. Yeah, like, but that that's made me flip my that shit. was yeah yeah. I was expecting that too. But then again, oh, that was man, that I that hope... was something that came along when Ezio was there, and I, I wouldn't no, expect. No, that's been around since the first game. I, I know, I know, but I, I feel like it might be a little early. I don't, you know, like I said, there's just too too many no, things to question. That, that's literally been around since the beginning of the Assassin's Well, yeah, I, I, what I'm saying is that raises too many eyebrows. I'm like... Ugh. No, not to me. The uh, like the, the Crusades took place before the Spanish Inquisition, so... I mean, that for me, like... And I hope I see that... I hope that's in the movie or in a future trailer. I mean, like, once again, like I said, if it's not okay, I, I'll, I'll live. But I want that so bad, though, like... That, that's what I want, man. Nothing is true. Everything was permitted. Like, if they su said some shit like that, it's just like, yes, this is a game for the fans. Yeah, like, not, especially I'm Michael Fassbender, really if you say that he plays the games, it. if you say that Michael Fassbender plays the games, he should he should tell these, like, listen, nigga. Yeah, because he, he was the one trying to pitch the movie in the first place a couple of years ago uh, yeah. when they were first coming up with the concept of it. And Michael Fassbender was like, listen, if we're going to do a movie, we need to do it correctly. So we're not yeah. just going to throw that shit together. And it was sponsored by Sony at the time. And I remember... Actually, that wasn't that wasn't two years ago. That was like five years ago when I was actually like when I first started I working I at Sony. That's when I heard about it. Assassin's Creed movie for a long ass time. Yeah. Yeah. So they they've so. been trying to get this movie green lit for a while and and shit like that. So you know, hopefully it's a Ryan Ryan Reynolds uh, type of situation where he doesn't you know fuck up the movie. But then again, he's not directing it. So. <laughs> I, I, yeah. at least I don't remember if he's directing it. I know he's producing in it, and he co-writ the screenplay for it. So we'll just see where it goes. So, so yeah, it was a it was a it was a decent trailer. It was definitely exceeded my expectations. Like I had very low expectations going in, and exceeded those. It looks like it's actually loyal. Like because I, I guess so many times when you see a game or movie or anime adaptation of a or like a movie adaptation of anything, it's always bad. So that's yeah, because I, I heard surprised. Ratchet and Clank was not that good either. 
Yeah, but that's one of those things where it was made for kids and shit. And I mean, yeah, but made for kids or not, they, they it's still because uh, yeah, I was talking to I was talking to Flash about this, and he was like, he was like, like the our, parts, our own, so. the parts that people consider bad are stuff that that are made for the fans. So the people who are reviewing this movie are not fans of the series. So that's why they didn't understand certain jokes and certain things and certain characters because they're not yes. fans of it. And I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. So. That's like that's like how critics were talking about uh, the Fantastic Four movie. Did you see that the new one? No. I, okay. I, I got it in my HBO queue though, so I'll watch De it. Later. Yeah, definitely <laughs> give that a watch because I, I I don't know. People were talking about like and see this is what I get for listening to people that don't review movies or don't do like have YouTube yeah. channels or shit like that. Like I can't talk to normal people anymore because it just doesn't make any sense because they'll be like, oh that movie was bad. Okay, tell me why that movie was bad. And they're not able to articulate specifically know, why a movie God, was I bad. Hate that shit. That's why I said I have to see that movie for myself. That's the same thing I felt about After Earth. Everyone said After Earth was so no, bad. No, After 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 Earth was was it pretty was good. A great movie. Yeah, it wasn't amazing, but it was a good movie. Like I, I would definitely give. It I had a good time. I'm watching like, I will watch it yeah I will watch it again like I I, 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 saw movie, I was like this movie not only was it not bad it was good like what the fuck and that, that totally threw me off and that was the same thing with Batman v Superman I was hearing people saying like oh this movie was yeah bad. Th no well, Batman was, versus Superman just had me a little was, like it, it yeah, had me there, feeling I mean, a certain type of way because yeah, none of it shit like in that movie that I didn't like but it was a good movie like I'm not gonna give take that away from it yeah so. I, I but then again for Batman versus Superman I, I definitely wouldn't waste three and a half hours watching that shit again I just wouldn't I'm sorry yeah I, I would probably just watch that shit the was last too long. part I feel like I feel like with the Batman vs Superman movie and this is how I feel with some games too is that once you've watched it once you don't need to watch it again never because, again yeah like I feel like a lot of stuff in that movie is like stuff you would watch for story building purposes but once you've learned and you know what's happening now captain america civil war i'm definitely gonna watch that. oh movie. yeah absolutely but that there that was just so a fun movie that, to watch that movie was literally this is movie like i i, I can't say that these mc movies mcu movies are getting better like through the course of the movies except for like uh, and this might be my personal opinion i feel like like everyone's like Ant -Man, Ant -Man, we already like, know yeah. Everybody said, oh, Ant-Man was the best movie. That, in my opinion, that was the worst movie nah, I've ever seen. Nah. But... <laughs> See, at the, at the top of my list, and I will agree with you on, on this, the top of my list is The Winter Soldier. And I never liked oh, yeah. Captain America. I've never been a fan of Captain America. I've never been a... Me uh, and see, I know, I know fan, you didn't like the second shit. Thor, but I, I felt like before The Winter Soldier, I, I can't remember which one came out first, but I was debating which one was better because those are the two... Those are my two favorite... Uh, MCU movies. I hated okay, the first well, Thor. The second Thor, the, the benefit of the doubt, I fell asleep watching it, so that's just the reason why Yeah, I the, bad, the ending was asleep, was but... really, really lackluster. Like, 75% of the movie was good, but... Um, I, I need to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, 75% of the movie w was pretty but good. I will, but what I was going to say, what I, will, what I can't say about Civil War, it was action-packed from start to finish. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, every couple of minutes, of like, movie. you got to see some fight scenes. Yeah. And I every noticed that the movie was very fun. balanced. And the, that's another thing that bothers me about a lot of movies that are supposed to be action focused is that they and the fact that they were able to have a lot of action in it, but it wasn't like Transformers where there was so much action there was no plot. Like they were actually able to establish the plot and have a lot of action at the end. I time. like how there so, were there were uh what eight or nine yeah eight superheroes fighting each other in an airport, and it still it didn't look like a clusterfuck like one fight yeah. in Transformers. Like what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like Transformers <laughs> is just fucking I, 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 I sort of watch, but to to kind of go back to um. Uh, Assassin's Creed, because that's what I wanted to talk about. I totally forgot my okay. point. But um, mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed looks like it, it'll be a dope movie. I'm very interested to see the second trailer. The second trailer will will definitely decide if yeah, it'll make th a if this is a, a movie for the fans or not, and and mm -hmm. shit like that. So you know, I'm I'm just gonna wait on it because I yeah. I don't have a choice. Uh, 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 uh.